The Cinewart Precision Tamper. Is it the best sub $1,000 tamper? Hey, stick about, I'll tell you all you need to know. G'day everyone, I'm Luke. Welcome back to the Artista YouTube channel where we guide you through all things coffee. So you don't miss out on one of our latest videos, hey, make sure you subscribe, like, and hit that bell icon and you'll be notified when we put up our latest video. And if you've got a comment, hey, please leave it down below. We do love answering those. So today, we're looking at the Cinoart P2 Tamper. Now, it is a new tamper out in the market. Um, we've had about a month to play with this thing, and we've trialed it next to some of the high-end units. So we just want to give you the info about the specs on it, but also what we've thought about it through that time. So just to start with the specs about the machine, uh, it comes down with a 58.3 millimeter tamper. Um, you've got um, the range of two kilos up to 30 kilos of pressure. So it's a really great range. Um, it is a metal um, build, so which is nice and sturdy and, and pretty handy there as a unit. Um, you do have uh, a three option tamp setting. So you can choose to have that press once, twice, or three times like a clap. But what is so cool about that, each one of those actual tamps can be a different pressure. The unit itself runs off a 12 volt adapter, so not chewing up a heap of power. Uh, it is pretty small in terms of footprint, just a little bit taller uh, on the unit here. The way the actual mechanism works um, is called a GLS or the guided leveling system. So it's a little bit different to some other tampers, but it does mean that you do um, feel that basket perfectly before it tamps, which is a really cool bit of tech. So the units come standard with a 58.3 uh, tamping head. You can actually get that in a 54, a 57, or a 58 as a special order. And that surface is actually a non-stick nanotechnology. And what does that mean? Well, when we look at uh, coffee grind, it can be a little bit staticky. So that surface helps reduce um, the coffee grinds as it tamps to actually stick to that surface and will actually mean that your brew recipe is gonna be better because all the coffee is in your coffee basket. So it's tamping cycle speed is 1.2 seconds. So that's the time it takes to come down, tamp your coffee and come back up. Uh, and as I mentioned before, if you want the double or triple tamp, obviously that will increase the tamp time that you're gonna have the handle stuck into that basket. And so the unit is available in black or white. Um, this white does have a little bit of a silver top on there as well. It looks quite smart. Um, and for full reference, you do have a little card here, which gives you um, a quick um, rundown of what's actually in the box, but also a guide to be able to go to the digital side to set it up properly. So just a handy little tool in case you lose the paperwork. So that's a rundown on the specs. So what have we found about the Cinoart over the last month while we've been using it here in our espresso bar? Well, we actually played with it across um, a lot of different features. So we've really looked into how the one tamp option works to a double tamp and a triple tamp and how that actually will affect your extraction. Now, we've actually been running it here with a, um, the new GP5 actually, uh, which is cool. So we've been looking at um, the different pressures, like a, a low pressure to start, and then a medium pressure, and then a heavy pressure, and how that affects our extraction um, with light roast and dark roast coffee. Now, that's opened a whole world of different taste for us in this experiment. So um, what is right, what is wrong, that's probably something for you to decide. We'd love to hear what you've come up with if you give that a go. But overall, it is great for that flexibility to choose those options. So we went back to actually keeping it a bit easy so we could compare uh, from other units that we've used and left it at 14 kilos. Now, we found over the, that time that it's been very consistent in um, our extractions, um, especially when we've been able to be weighing the end shots because of the Lamazocco with the scales inbuilt. So shot for shot, we are not seeing any variables uh, because of the tamping. If anything, it's made it far more standardized for our bristers here to give an amazing shot. So usability, it's very simple. Um, if you want to drop the actual um, unit to give it a clean, um, you just press and hold the, the button and it will drop down. Um, if you want to change easily from a 10 kilo, 20 kilo or 30 kilo pressure, there's three set buttons there. Um, if you want to increase or decrease by a kilo, you just use the up or down arrow. So that's nice and easy. Um, and then you've got the time as well. So you can increase or decrease the time of that tamp. Um, to get a bit further in the, in the menu, you basically just press and hold the buttons and it gives you access to set up the single, uh, double or triple tamp and the pressures that are applied on each one of those tamps that you have. So 
it's pretty easy. There's nothing uh, hard. It's a very easy menu to understand, um, which is great for the average user. So once we had this set up properly um, by inverting the unit and popping our group handle in and adjusting the saddle correctly, we found that it was actually um, really good experience because in other tampers we found the really fast pressure that they were putting on top of that group handle would actually allow it to flex and move but with this the slower speed actually allowed the handle to really stay steady level and we felt like we weren't getting a shift in that coffee puck because of the movement that you can get in your handle so for me that's actually a really cool um, uh, i guess tick uh, for the engineering behind this unit now how does that actually activate the plunger to come down or the tamper to come down on top of the coffee. Uh, under here, it is a bit of a safety mechanism. It will only activate if you've got metal being sensed at the back. So again, that does happen on other units, but you won't get your hands jammed in there, uh, which is a nice safety feature. So what don't I like about the Cinoart? Well, keeping in mind, it does have a very great price point. It is a little bit tall and a little bit top heavy. And I only say that because when you do use it a lot, it does have um, like a non-stick rubber base, which is great, but we did find it just sneaking a little bit over towards the grinder throughout the day, and it actually hit the switch and turned the grinder off. Did it a couple of times, so just something to be aware of. Not, not a real big issue, but just want to point that one out for you. The Cinoart PT2 Tamper uh, that we've been using for a month, so far we cannot fault it. It's been great. Uh, we would see it's very good value for that sub thousand dollar mark. Um, if you don't have a automatic tamper in your cafe, this is a great way to start. Get into it. It'll create so much consistency in your espresso shots for your um, cafe and your baristas are going to love it. Uh, obviously reduced RSI is up. the other factor as to why you would put an automatic tamper into your cafe. So if you need any more info on the Cinoart PT2, we'll leave a link below. Um, thanks very much for watching guys. Have an awesome day. Catch you soon.